Hello and welcome back everyone. And Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic playing as Hask, my Sith warrior. And we are here after the events of the Knights of the Eternal Throne expansion. And so we have two more kind of storylines at this current point in time to kind of follow over at the mission console on board the Fury here. You may notice that we've uh, had a change in armor once again. I was contemplating to wear this armor set just in the last video, actually, in the last part of the series, as we went to go claim the Eternal Throne. Not too sure if it suits Hask's body type. I think it's probably more appropriate for body type 3, or even maybe even body type 4, where you're a bit bulkier. But, uh, we'll give it a go. Um... <laughs> We sh uh, shall we say that he's still going through some um, emotional instability during, uh, thanks to previous events, which may uh, make some of his decisions less rational. Let's just put it that way. But, let's get ourselves over to the mission console, I think. Oh yes, um, I've had a couple of days off, but I have been logging in. So we've been getting some more login rewards, and obviously this is the second day for the weekly reward there. So we have this Circa Care Package, a uh, complimentary major reputation boost, solid research items, sorry, resource items. Ah, I see. I'm not really using these reputation boosters so much. Um, I suppose we could use them in certain in certain places, like McKeb and such. But oh well, no matter. So we're not looking at Oricron. and Osis. I think is later. We're looking at the fractured alliances. The Eternal Empire has fallen. While the galaxy recovers from Valen's tyrannical rule, the Eternal Alliance mounts a vital mission to recover a powerful superweapon from the dangerous, unexplored planetary megastructure known as Iocath. So, I'm guessing some time has elapsed, and the radiation levels have lowered enough to make it safe to maybe visit the... I suppose, manufactured world of Iocath. We actually will get some uh, reputation here. So we have Imperial forces on Iocath and probably reputation for, uh, reputation? Republic forces. Though I've never taken a Republic player to Iocath as of yet. Yeah. So we are considered a newcomer. Ooh, Conqueror of the Sphere. <laughs> Is there a Republic? Can we even see the Republic one? Oh, we can. Yeah. Fair enough. Commander, you're needed in the Alliance War Room for a status update. Oh, very well. Are you sure you're ready to begin the Forgotten World? The Eternal Alliance is getting stronger every day, Commander. Worlds across the galaxy have sent us tribute, and everyone respects your authority as Emperor. Well, almost everyone. There's another rebellion on Zakul, 
What are your orders? Send in our agents and try to end this without bloodshed. They'll be on the ground within the hour. You're holding out on me, Theron. What's the status of our mission to Iocav? I was saving the best for last. Lana should be closing in on the superweapon right about now. Come in, Lana. How's the radiation sickness treating you? It's nothing I can't handle. Isn't that right, C6? You heard the droid? Mm hmm Lana equals full of herself. Focus on the mission. Have you found the superweapon, Lana? According to the intel we received, it should be just up ahead. Stand by. Target located. Commencing scan. Power levels are off the charts, and rising by the second. Incredible. Contact! Lana, what's happening? I've got company. What's the Republic doing here? The Sith Empire? They must be after the superweapon. Get Lana back online. Hurry. Working on it. Don't worry, I lost them. Lost who? The Sith Empire and the Republic. They're on Iacath, and they appear to be fighting for control of the superweapon. Every meter of Iacath belongs to me. From the smallest bolt to the largest superweapon. The Republic and the Empire know that. They just don't care. Why would they risk everything over this one superweapon? According to my scans, it's more powerful than anything we've ever encountered. More powerful than the Eternal Throne? Quite possibly. If the Republic or Empire claim it, they would usurp the Eternal Alliance as the dominant power in the galaxy. The fallout would be catastrophic. Then we have no choice. We can't let this weapon fall into the wrong hands. How should we proceed, Commander? We'll meet you on Iocath, Lana. Head for the Fleet Spire and start clearing the landing zone. Understood. I'll see you soon. Ships of the Eternal Fleet, converge on Iocath immediately and await my orders. We have a war to win. Oh, lovely! The Republic and the Empire have seen an opportunity. Hello, Iocath. You're looking as dangerous as ever. Something's wrong. The Imperial and Republic fleets aren't attacking each other. No, 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 no! Something is scrambling our weapon systems. It's coming from the planet's surface, near the superweapon. The Eternal Fleet's offline, Commander. They can't help us. Scorpio's rattling around somewhere in Iocath's mainframe. Either she's to blame, or she can help. Transmission sent. Let's hope she hears us. And that she's not holding any grudges. In the meantime, we'd better join the battle. If there's any way to help our fleet, we'll find it on Iocath. Well, that's unfortunate.
So all the fleets are somewhat disabled, or at least their defensive capabilities seem to be. Oh! Intercept, dismember. Against purification. Lana, we've landed on Iocath. Perfect timing. Meet me at these coordinates, and watch out for droid sentries. Clear the area. We need the fleet spire safe before we make camp here. Understood. May the Force ever serve you. So we're trying to set up or secure our landing position. So we're picking up Iocaf Pyre Power Shards. Item. Map. Immense purification.
loading another Alliance command code. Map. Okay. Slowly going clockwise. One more code, and hopefully then the docking ring will be secure. Any reinforcements we might be able to bring. Impurities detected. Half terminal. Oh, now this seems familiar. Flashbacks is it to this room? Yep, this is me. That's why I hated these droids again. What can I do with these? Oh!
I'm with you. Eyes open. So it's gonna grab me again, no doubt. Yep. That being a nightmare last time, getting pulled everywhere. Ah, we have a tram system. Oh, Knights of cool. Very nice. Commander, welcome back to Ayakath. I'm glad you're safe. What's the latest? The war's heating up with every passing minute. You didn't tell us you had company. Dun dun dun. Our trigger happy friends sent these assassins, so I took them captive. I told you I'm no assassin. I've come to deliver a message from the Republic. And you are? Captain Ilara Dawn of the Republic. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. You're looking more potent than ever, my lord. Quinn? Is that you? In the flesh. What kept you away all this time? It's a long story, my lord. Best shared after we've quelled the Republic's petty offensive. Don't get ahead of yourself, Major. Supreme Commander Malcolm wants a word with you. In private. Empress Asina requests the same. But unlike Malcolm, she's open to a group conference. Get your leaders on the line. Both of them. It's about time we sort out this mess. Right away. Thank you for extending the Empire this honor, Commander. The Republic's glad to see you, and my son, on Iogath. Keep me out of this, Malcolm. Enough! Supreme Commander Malcolm, Empress Asina, your armies have started a war over a superweapon of immeasurable power. You were strong once, but now you're standing in the shadow of my eternal alliance, and you want a weapon to even the odds. We're taking up arms against the Imps, Commander, not you. This ought to be rich. It's no secret the Eternal Empire nearly wiped out the Republic. We're struggling to rebuild and protect ourselves. The superweapon on Iocath is the key to the Republic's survival. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna watch it fall into the Empire's treacherous hands. I didn't come here to be insulted. Choose your next words carefully, Malcolm. I know you've spilled your share of Republic blood. But that's in the past. Join forces with the Republic. Help us defeat the Empire, and we'll share access to the superweapon. 
and all of Iokath. Iokath belongs to the Eternal Alliance. Why should I share any part of it with you? Consider it payment for driving off the Imperial looters. This is preposterous. The Empire openly supported your Eternal Alliance, while the Republic watched from the sidelines. Good point. You once fought for the Empire as wrath personified. Now you can embrace that power once more. Help us crush the Republic threat. Once they fall, our empires can both partake in the spoils of Iokath. You've worked with the Empire more recently. What do you make of Asina's offer? We've already allied with the Empire. If we turn against them now, what message does that send to the rest of our followers? It tells them we don't honor agreements with traitors. Don't forget, she trespassed on Iokath without your permission. A small transgression. If I had to choose, I would join forces with the Empire. The Republic's a safer bet. The choice is yours, Commander. Who shall we side with? <sighs> I'd rather side with neither of them and kick them both off Iocaf. We will ally with the Sith Empire. A wise choice. Sith never listen to reason. Dorn, do it! For the Republic! <clears throat> she got away. We'll deal with her later. Commander, the Republic has launched their attack. Fight back with everything you've got. We're on our way. Quinn, we'll continue with this reunion later. For now, I need you to defend the fleet spire. With pleasure, my lord. The Republic scum will rue the day they trespassed on Iokath. May the Force serve us all. <laughs> Maybe that's not the wisest choice, but I do agree with Lan in the sense that we have already allied ourselves with the Empire, and the Republic just sat and watched while the Alliance fought and bled to deal with the Eternal Empire. I don't look kindly upon that. So, we need to actually go defend the Imperial base. It seems it's likely both sides were prepared to assault the other, regardless of what we were gonna do. But now that the Imperials have us <laughs> aiding them, obviously we can come and uh deal with the Republic Assault. We'll take a small break here. I'm not sure how I'm going to break up the war on Iocath. I suppose we'll just stop at seemingly opportune times. So there may be some parts which are longer than others, depending on the circumstances we find ourselves in. But I hope you'll enjoy this uh, part of the series. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you so wish. And hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, though, take care. Bye-bye now.